All right, here we are. We're back. It's just me. The kiddos are all in bed. We're going to do a little bit of... Oh, good. It's going to rain tomorrow. Just to do a little bit of uh, Stardew Valley here. Good humor today. That's good. Check for spring onions southwest of town. <gasps> Whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Wow. There's a little slow uh, load time. Yep. We can buy a bigger backpack. Me sell hats. Okay, Pokey. The hat mouse. So he'll sell you nice little hats. You bring a thousand bucks or so, and he'll sell you a nice new hat. Uh, they vary. Let's see. I feel like on this farm you need to get a better watering can. Most of the other farms you sort of take it for granted that you just have sprinklers. Oh, come on. But in addition to just holding more water. Oh, come on. The other watering cans can water more in one. I mean, look at how much energy I've already used up. Ugh. You can water that in like two little bloop charge ups or whatever. That's what that sound was when you're doing the uh, iridium watering can. Still, watering a crop gives you like a little bit of experience every time you water a crop. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> I'm just going to water them all with ocean water. Just thought of that. That's all, like, salty, isn't it? Isn't that going to, like, kill all your crops? Oh, well. Let's just put this away. I'll do some fishing later. No, you know what? I'll keep that for now. That's not a bad thing to have. All right, I'm going to go give this to Gunther. Have, um, Clint... Bust this down. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how that works. Now neither of them open until 9 a.m. So we check the calendar. Nothing is happening till Sunday. Nope. Anybody around? Nope. You guys want to make sure when you're checking in the trash that nobody's standing around. You'll actually lose reputation points with anybody who sees you do it. Okay. Ooh, gross! What are you doing? You say, oh, I was just, uh, looking for food. <laughs> and they go, yuck. And you lose a little bit of reputation, a little bit of heart with them. Oh, see, now that we've got, like, level two, I think... It goes more one more square out. Oh, you get higher up and level even higher than that. Uh, it goes out more squares. There's a whole table online that you can look up to see what all the perks are for leveling up and fishing. Mostly, it's that you get more stars, so higher quality fish that you can sell for more money. You catch them faster, and uh, the bar is is wider so it's easier when they just suddenly move like that to keep them in the bar to get more more perfect quote-unquote catches where it gives you that thing that says perfect which gives you a higher quality automatically i'm pretty sure and uh you get more experience from it i know that one for certain catch of the fish catch a fish come on do it there you are. Oh, nice. Yum. After all that watering this morning, I gotta do something to get the energy back. <sighs> nice thing about fishing here, you can actually sell the fish to Willy immediately. You don't have to put them in the thing and then wait for the end of the day for. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Well, still. That one just goes straight up to the top. I don't know what happens if you wait any longer. 
Oh, look at that, another frozen geode. Well, a frozen geode. <laughs> another frozen geode. I ain't got no frozen geode before. You get those in the cave later on after the caves are open and available for you. Hmm. Can I do the thing going? Come on. Do it. Give me this. Ha! Ah, perfect. Nice. Oh, not that nice. Whatever. But you can sell them, and they sell for the same amount of money you would have gotten. Uh, so I'm told. If you had actually put it into the uh, mayor's <clears throat> drop bin at the end of the night. fish. Okay, so you process geodes. Okay, these are the lower level ones. Cost 25 each to break them open, but you get minerals. And sometimes you get other stuff, but you know, good stuff to have. Because you can take them in here and give them to our good friend Gunther. Glass shards. I think I want this to be like relics and old time, old stuff, but um, not like ancient things. This will be precious stones up here. These will be like rocks and interesting minerals, but not like gemstones. Hey, what up, Lewis? They're really pretty lively at night. Whoa, you guys party, huh? You don't party. Okay, uh, what am I doing with the rest of this day? Oh, I can go and read or go and meet Elliot. He's the handsome, charming uh, author guy that lives in the shack down by the thing. Okay, he's. Melton or Mil Morton or something like that. He's the one that lives, uh, or sorry, works at the Joja Mart. I can't remember. They work different shifts. If he's the night shift or if he's the. Ooh. He wants a potato? You're out of luck. It's the wrong season. Oh no, it is the season for potatoes, isn't it? I don't got no potatoes. There's the kid. He's the new owner of Lobster Bisque Farm. Victor! Nice to meet you, bro. I need to meet the wizard, the Adventurers Guild guy, and the guy that works at the Jojo Mart. Let's see if he works there right now. I don't know what their schedules are, because they're new with this DLC or what if it, it's not DLC, right? If it's if it's like a data pack. There you go. Let's see if you like that. Morris. Oops. Morris. Okay, it was just a normal. It wasn't like a great gift or bad gift. It was just a gift. Eh. I'll take it. Take what I can get there. Oh, I know her already. Who is it I'm trying to meet? Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can't meet uh, the Adventurer Guild guy. But you know what? If I'm going to meet him, Empty inventory spaces, some food, which means fishing. And probably my pickaxe wouldn't be a bad idea to have that around too. Grr. 
All right, so here's the plan, team. Cutting down some trees. We're gonna do a little bit of farm work today. Ugh. Lots of trees on this farm, I gotta say, that's uh... That's kinda nice. Didn't I have one for? Don't have one for that yet. There, put those in there. I'm just gonna eat this now. And there we go. You always run out of wood in this game when you're trying to build things. Barns, coops, sheds. There's all kinds of different uh, farm buildings you can have. And they are totally worth every penny. Because they all give you something different that enables you to make more stuff. It's kind of that thing, you gotta spend money to make money. If all you ever do on this game is just farm and fish, you're not going to earn very much money. You have a couple of running barns and coops. You'll be a billionaire. So much money to be had in this game. It's kind of silly. They actually have uh, some... Uh, what do you call it? Expansions or resource packs or whatever these things are called. They have some of them that just make the game more difficult by balancing how much money you can earn. And you actually have, like, power bills. <laughs> and land taxes. Because Endgame, it gets kind of ridiculous. You literally can become a billionaire in this game. Just farming stuff. And so they, they make food and things worth less money. I know it sounds stupid, it's like, well, why would I want to earn less money? Well, because at the end game, you've got so much cash, it's just, there's nothing you can't buy. Those $28,000 bottles of wine that you get from, uh, what is it, Sophia? Oh, whoops, I thought I saw the thing. Those are completely obtainable. In fact, Late game, those are those are kind of a no-brainer. Like you could earn so much money with those. Luck in this game is a really important um, stat. And there's very few things that you can do that'll give you, you know, extra luck. Plus seven to luck is seriously a big deal. More fishing bait. Mm -hmm. uh, 28,000 each per bottle. That's expensive, but it is super worth it. I can see you going into the... Oh no! Sorry, I'm talking here and I should be fishing. But anyway, going into the, the caves and the skull cavern later on and having plus seven luck and just getting all sorts of crazy good stuff. This is so relaxing. Just watching that butterfly, listening to the birds in the trees and stuff. This game is super relaxing, super chill. There you go. Got one of those uh, dulce things. <gasps> Iron ore! Yum! Eat this thing, eat this thing. I'm surprised I haven't gotten more ores. Ore, that is. O-R-E. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can get a boat. Like, I went over to the Adventurer's Guild. I know, spoiler alert, I hope not too much, but I don't really know myself. Went to the spoil- to the- to the Spoilers Guild. 
to the Adventurer's Guild, and there's a little boat there. And I'm going, well, that's kind of neat. Does that mean I can go boating? I don't know. I'll have to see. So you click and it goes up, otherwise it just sort of goes down. More ore! More ore! At this point it's getting a little later in the day. My energy is getting a little lower. But I want to keep these so that you can go into the... You can go into the caves after you meet the adventurer, the old guy. And then you can, um exploring in the caves and you need food because as you're cutting, cutting, as you're breaking locks in there and stuff, doing mining, you run out of energy and you fight monsters, they hit you, your health goes down. There's another bar that opens up here when you go into the cave, your health bar. And if that goes down to zero, you die. Well, not really. You just kind of faint and then somebody finds you and you lose money and you lose items. The monsters go through your pockets and rob you. <laughs> but you just wake up in town and then you're exhausted for the rest of the day. And then the next day you have half energy. So it's like, it's a pretty big penalty to die. It kind of sucks. You don't want to do it. So having food for energy is important. Well, give me some minerals or something. Give me, a, give me something worth having. Come on, you fish. The other thing that would be important to have for my my little trip into the caves. Oh, I need to get the new backpack. See, right now you only have like 12 item slots. You have 2,000 gold. You go into Pierre's shop and you buy the backpack and it doubles your inventory you get 24 slots which is kind of a big deal i mean this is all i can carry imagine carrying twice as much yeah it's it's kind of huge then you can buy another backpack that gives you uh, for 10,000 gold that gives you another 12 so a total of 36 and you can carry so much stuff. And yet you still run out of space all the time. Kind of frustrating, but hey, whatever. That's just part of the game, right? Inventory. Um, management. I think 36 is a reasonable number where it's like, you know, you gotta keep stuff straight. Let's see, I'm gonna sell some of these. Ah, uh, you, you, you. I want to earn monies. Ah, it's an owl. <laughs> they come across the screen like that. They're so neat looking. It's kind of spooky when they just come out at you like that. You're like, oh, what is this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is everybody else seeing this? Need to get a better fishing pole too. This base level fishing pole has the slowest bite rate. The next one you get increases the bite rate, so you can use this fishing bait on it and it causes them to, oh, oh causes them to bite even faster. A lot of fishing is just waiting. It's just wasted time. Time that you could be catching more fish. Yum, 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 Mmm, I like seaweed. We get those little sushi paper things, and some of them are meant to just be eaten just as they are. They're just toasted, uh, toasted seaweed or whatever. We got all kinds of flavored ones. There's wasabi flavored, sesame flavored, and... We go to this Asian market, and uh, it's good stuff. The kids will all be like, yay, seaweed! People will be like, your kids eat seaweed? I'm like, 
Yeah, don't yours. <laughs> oh, this isn't a rare fish. Let's see what you are. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just... It was just trying hard. See, it, it had like a little leap there. It just sort of jumped all the time. I thought, for sure, this is going to be a difficult catch. Nah. It not. It not. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Fish! See what we got. Well, see, it's, it's getting late. The butterfly doesn't care. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna flop around over here. Come on. Another thing about fishing, getting your fishing level up, is at level five fishing, you get a bonus where you can either make it where fish are more valuable, like at about 25%. I think that's the number. So when you sell them, you just get bonus money, so good monies, not bad. The other one is you can make crab pots, and it makes it so that the resources to make your own crab pots is lower. So it's like, and wood and a copper bar versus 50 wood and an iron bar, something like that. I don't remember exactly the oops, formula on that one. Let's see, money, cash money. That should be fine. Like I was saying, I want to keep some of these fish for uh, tomorrow. I can go into the mines and have extra energy for from food. I'll probably eat this flounder first thing in the morning after I water all my dumb crops. Actually, wait, hold on. Weather report. Was it going to rain tomorrow? Oh, it is. All right, we'll call that a day. Yay, leveled up foraging. I can make survival burgers. And there it is, crab pot and dish of the sea. Mmm. See a little bit more money. We're getting closer to being able to pick those crops too. But we'll have to see that in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll pick up right there. <laughs>